Conway Parks. Please hold. So I'll be with you shortly. All right. Uh, Steve is at lunch. He'll be back in about 12. Oh, okay. Can you check and see if uh, my parts came in? Two. Looks like you got something here. Let me see what it is. Yeah, it looks like your last order was some hoses. They're both they're both here. Looks like they came in FedEx just a little while ago. Oh, nice. In an hour. Sweet. Well, all right. I'll be there shortly. Okay. Sounds good. Appreciate it. You too. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. This is the last time we're here. Hopefully. Just kidding. We got to pick up more parts. We just got a final list of all the parts. So $1,200 later, we got all the parts that we needed. Everything. We also got the two lines that's going to allow us to crank the car up. So right here. Let's so get let's it. go crank it. So there's the two hoses that we need to start this car up and let it idle. Well, we're going to go ahead and install them, and then we're going to try to figure out how we can purge the system where there's no air in it, which is going to be a challenge, but I think we can handle it. I'm going to go ahead and take off this front bumper, then the headlights, and then the fender so we can get it all bare again so we can work on it real easily. And we still got a few things to button up and tighten up, and uh, we should be good. And then we might start it for you guys after the purging. So we got all the parts off from bumper there fender right there on the stand or both fenders yep both fenders on the stand we'll go ahead and install this tank might as well go ahead and crack these yep go ahead and pop these open see what the big deal about them is you know what i mean nothing big about it's like a special a little, <laughs> little clamp i guess they had to pull this off the z06 assembly line right there another one almost looks just like it made in mexico i'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the ac lines that i haven't tightened up because we just threaded them by hand i'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up first yeah i'm just looking how they go i think one goes like that that way dang son Your body slammed the crap out of him you better chill out, you little sucker. All right, so the tank is installed, as you can see there. Now for some purging, we're gonna have to figure out how we wanna purge the system. Filling up the radiator too, probably gonna be the first thing we're gonna fill up. There you go. All right, what is that, your unscrew? Uh, it just uh, pops off. Uh, this is uh, how you purge it. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get something, a little funnel or something. Something that's airtight right there. And it's just gonna have to bubble. All right, so we just got back from Ace Hardware. Got a few things, a funnel, a couple tubes to purge this system. And we came back with uh, three gallons of distilled water because uh, if we're gonna be mixing with the antifreeze or anything, wanna go ahead and use distilled water, dilute it, you know, 50-50. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut some of this up. Make a little funnel. We bought one inch to go over that. And then we're gonna put a little clamp over it, make it tight, then put the other end on this side and uh, slowly purge this thing. Try to get as much air out of the system as possible. If you have too much air in the system, your car will lack on power. It's not gonna run right. There's people out there that uh, show how to do this. We've been watching some YouTube videos, how to purge the system. It's uh, easier said than done, that's all I can say, but nothing that we can't handle so we're exactly. gonna go ahead and hop on and start purging this thing i've heard that you could even lose up to 140 horsepower if you got air in your system yeah, and you won't even notice it and you're losing horsepower i'm gonna go ahead and cut this make it right and uh, start purging it All right guys, so we had to pause for a second. Something started leaking at the bottom of the radiator. We're trying to figure it out. 
What are you seeing in there, Billy? Um, I guess the people that sold us this radiator didn't put the little screw thing. Oh that yeah, the drain, the, the drain plug. Yeah, the drain plug, they took it out. So we're gonna have to run to the junkyard real quick and take that drain plug off of the off of their C7 over there. So let's go run over there real quick and take one off. And then we're gonna probably have to run and go get some more fluid, probably two more gallons of fluid just in case. Dang, cause look at that mess. Yeah, that stuff is not that expensive too. It's pretty cheap. Yeah, it's not too bad for, for this car. So let's head there. All right guys, so that sucks. We're pouring that radiator fluid in. All of a sudden we heard some leakage. Uh, apparently the drain plug is missing out of the radiator. I'm sure the we bought it used, so I'm sure they took it out to drain all the fluid out of it and never put it back. So no big deal. We're about to get another one real quick. Just run over there to the junkyard, grab one, and uh, fix the issue. That's just what you run into while you're exactly. working on cars. So we're going to go grab that drain plug real quick, and uh, we'll catch you there. We here. Oh, man. Where's it at? He probably done ripped it apart. All right, guys. So they're getting ready to pull this engine out. They already so, pulled. Man, no, they're still pulled. in there. They're going to tear this sucker apart. But luckily, we found the radiator, which is right here. Bam. And look at this. Got that little plug, baby. Hey. That's all we needed right there. I wonder if there's fluid in it. Probably release it. Hey. That's the last of this Corvette. Let's go. Yeah, it's getting destroyed. Yeah. All right, so we got it. How much did you pay for that thing? One dollar. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to pay that one dollar, but oh yeah, because we need we need that. It's an emergency piece. I know the dealership will take a day or two, but we got yeah. that in like a couple minutes. So a couple sec, a couple seconds. We were scared when we didn't see that vet sitting over there, because usually whenever he starts ripping it, starts apart, ripping man, it apart, it's gone. Like he rips the motor it. out, he starts tearing it apart, and if there ain't any good parts, even if there is a few little things he doesn't care about it he just crushes Yo, it and moves on <laughs> they crush they they started taking that car apart in the perfect time because we got all of our parts we got everything we oh need. yeah man we are almost ready to put this sucker back together man oh yeah and we took everything we needed from that car right there so oh yeah we're good we are man. good we, we got came there, right, we got in there right in the nick of time yeah because he was right about to pull it out he already took the radiator off and stuff we're like oh man so we're good we're gonna head back to the house and start filling it up again Screw this sucker back in. He just goes on the side of that radiator there. What did we lose? About a gallon on the floor there? About half a gallon. About half a gallon. But it's all good. You live and you learn. Part this is the car business right exactly. here. Exactly. You go through this stuff all the time. So it's good. This is just a little hiccup that we had to go through. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing. Saved a little bit. Hey, that right there? Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Exactly what you said. All right, guys. So I grabbed the little filter right here, strainer, whatever you want to call it, just in case you know we have a little bit of like stuff fall in here, any bugs or anything. You know, you want to strain everything. got the radiator reservoir filled up pretty good it's all flowing down into the radiator and stuff so now I'm just gonna figure out how to zip that I'm probably gonna zip tie it like that I'm just gonna figure out how to keep it up so I can have both of these systems filling up at the same time so whenever I go to start the car it both flows through both of the systems pretty good and uh, start purging the system the radiator system and the cooling system for the supercharger
So what are you unscrewing right now? Just... Uh, this is how they bleed it. You bleed the system. Basically like bleeding brake lines. Wait until it starts coming out and you close it. You want to bleed this one first because this is the one that goes in. Intake or outtake, I don't know what you call it. But look at this. Andrew Klein, if you're watching the video, give us a little bit more information on how, how you put that supercharger together. Oh, we did so much of these. It's gonna take some time to get all the bubbles out, but we're definitely gonna do that. There's there's a bunch of different techniques that people use. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna make a little vacuum to uh, purge the system a lot better later right. on. Because we're definitely gonna have to do that. We're probably gonna order like a, some little vacuum piece we've seen online. Cause yeah. That's uh that's the best way to do it. That's what the dealership does it or the manufacturer. So or they, we may even uh cruise up there to the dealership later on. To get them to purge it for us. Yeah, get them to purge it. They got like some special is but it an electronic a, vacuum? I don't know what they have. You just have to have a vacuum that just goes on there and puts a vacuum on it to get all the bubbles out. We'll we'll first ask how much they're gonna charge us because if they, they try to yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do it ourselves. If they this try to charge, squad. we're gonna save the Corvette owner some money. Yeah. How about that? Reservoir tank is getting filled up. It's a little bit more to go. A little bit more purging, and uh, we're gonna give this thing a crank. I got the battery on charge right now, so. Yeah, we gotta definitely crank it because once you crank it, everything starts flowing, starts going through all the lines, and a lot more bubbles are gonna come out, and it's gonna go down. It's gonna suck more fluid in, so we're definitely gonna do that. All right, guys. So we're gonna give it up. Gonna crank it up. Let that system flow. So let's see if it'll crank up. We got it on engine start. Is it on? Yeah, it's on engine start. Let me come back here and give you a. Is it on engine start? Yeah. All righty. Yeah, not enough juice. So switch that back over to 10 amps. Not enough juice, huh? Not with that weak charger. I know, right? All right, take number three. tank is bubbling up a little bit you know that means the the pump has turned on no leaking no leaks we're good under there the tank is working you can see it see we need to have uh there's air right there ain't there yeah we need to have all this gone so you know you make a purge pump vacuum all that out of there yep Or is it not pulling that up anymore? Dang, son, what happened to your bag? You gonna go take it to the track? Yeah. Hey, start off in seventh gear. All right. <laughs> ready for the dyno definitely still air in that box there or that canister yeah we're which, gonna have to vacuum that out haven't that, been running a long time but it's running running pretty smooth yeah. dang that thing sounded so good man we may go get a, a little pump from the local parts store yeah we're gonna have to and build some. some sort of system where we can get all vacuum all that air out oh yeah we're gonna have, definitely have to pump all that air out put a little suction you want to see if it'll start up again see if the battery charged up a little bit possibly yeah, Is that track mode? There we go. What'd you come up with? We need to go get a system to bleed this. We got a vacuum system, some kind of much. vacuum pump. Probably use the same one they use for brakes. For brakes, you know, you sit there and pump it. I've yeah. seen it online how they do it. So we're gonna make something and uh, get something going, get all this air out so this thing can rev out fully. 
We just picked up this automotive test and bleed kit. It's a nice kit right here. They sell it at, um, what you said, O'Reilly's? O'Reilly's. We're gonna actually make something to put a vacuum on that little system to vacuum out the air. We've seen it on YouTube, uh, how they do it on these Z06s. So we're gonna run to uh, Home Depot. Home Depot. And Get a little uh, rubber stopper. Little rubber stopper for our one inch clear pipe. We're, we're gonna put a rubber stopper on it, drill a hole, perfect for the hose to go in there to pull a vacuum. Pump that joint and then pull the vacuum, pull all the air bubbles out of there and Hopefully we'll get that full power out of that Z06, man. The orange storm. No shout outs, no free shout outs. Yeah, no shout outs. Home Depot though. We're gonna go <laughs> get a little rubber grommet. Let's get it. Shoot. We're in the plumbing section, but uh, we couple, need to find- cap, cap, you see this cap? Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's a metal one, we need a rubber one. So the orange store didn't have it. Nothing. So we're gonna head to um, Tractor Supply and see what they got. Nothing here at the Tractor Supply. I will call this the farm store from now on and then the blue store which is Lowe's apparently looks like they got something. Third store here. You gonna find it this time Billy? If I ain't gonna find it my phone's gonna find it. He's got it on his phone man. I'm just gonna show him like where's it at? <laughs> That's this guy. Perfect. Two bucks. We'll take it. We'll go ahead and close these other shelves for you guys. We didn't open it but you know they try to hire us everywhere we go. <laughs> they had it. Yep yep yep. Good job on that. A little bit of research and a few uh, smart heads and lows and we found it and we finally got it. So let's get to the house. Yeah, but we're back at the house here. We're gonna try to rig this uh, system up to purge all the air out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and put some pressure on it. Oh nice, it's pulling it up. Bubbles? See? Yep, I see bubbles. Oh, that is what's up. This is where it's at right here. No dealership for us. <laughs> we do this ourselves. Hey, we, we like dealership parts, but dealership services, that's gonna be a, we'll become the dealership on this one. But as you can see, we're getting a ton of air out of that See system. why I wanted that other hose? Yeah, so it wouldn't uh, see, it's collapse. It's, it's collapsing. collapsing. All right, so I just released the vac. As you can see, it all went down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. Looks just like, like that and i'm gonna fill it up to the top again so we want to make sure we get that completely out so we're going to do this quite a bit quite That's a bit it. of times yep. until it's completely mostly air free there might be a tiny bit of air but we're trying to get all of it out All right, after getting most of them air bubbles out, we're gonna give it one final start for today and then we'll probably catch you guys tomorrow. Go for it. Cross your fingers. Woo wee Guess just let it idle. I wanna go look at that All right. Yeah. Woo wee Oh my goodness. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Dude, that's, super dude, that's, a, I, that's partly supercharger and partly intake. Dude, they didn't take it on well, point. Well, that's where the sound comes from. Oh, yeah, that's intake. true. Yeah. That's why it's so much louder dude. than stock because of the intake. Dude, <laughs> man. <laughs> Oh, that was closed exhaust, bro. Yeah. What, what, what are you doing? I was just gonna hit more sound to the supercharger. True, true. Running a lot better. Running a lot better. Smells like freedom back there, dude. I smell it. All right, so we got a couple good revs in for you guys, but that's gonna be a wrap for right now. We'll catch you guys right in the morning. We got a good bit to clean up, some tools, uh, like these little devices and stuff that we built. Man, we got a good bit to clean up. You gonna help us clean or not? Get your tail. Oh, look at him, he got it. 
Good boy. Good boy. All right, guys, so we're going to clean this mess up, and we'll catch you guys in the morning. All righty, guys, next day here. What you got there? Uh, I renovated the new the perch system and made a new one. I got a stronger tube that doesn't collapse, and I put a stronger tube right here also that doesn't collapse because I want to really get a lot of pressure in this thing to suck everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and purge the system again while the car is cold and uh, keep purging it a few times today, and then I think we should be good. Oh, yeah. You see that? That's what we want. Big ol' air bubbles coming out, huh? Big ol' Yes, sir. -y. Man, I can't believe we finally got it idling, man. It could just idle at that battery charge. video is going to be coming completely together we may even test drive it who knows and if you haven't be sure to check out our instagram at goon squad you get the inside scoop there before youtube so check it out also guys be sure to visit goon squad.com copy a hat copy a shirt before we sell out be sure to get you something if you want to help our channel grow a lot faster you can visit the link down below and visit our patreon all the support is much appreciated so thank you guys for watching today's video and we'll catch you next time peace